It's really a beautiful day though. It's about 70 degrees and uh, not a cloud in the sky. It's like a perfect day for a walk in the park. This park is primarily like woodland and then there's a uh, small lake or pond further down the trail. I don't know what I'm going to get today and I'm shooting with the 75 millimeter so uh, I'm starting to get a feel for the 75 millimeter now though. So like I said when I'm looking out at this scene I can sort of compose the image I want in my head before I actually have to look through the EVF. So as I'm looking around this scene, like up there, I see some really strong lighting coming through the leaves and then very dappily shadows down here. No one will tell you to come on and take pictures during the middle of the day, but I'm gonna try. Okay, I pulled off the trail a little bit and um, I found this this little patch of flowers right here that's uh, kind of isolated on top of this mound and uh, I'm gonna try a very shallow depth of field to kind of blur out the grass in front and behind it and see how that looks and again I'm gonna go low key probably dial in these are in the shade so I'll probably only need to dial in like a negative third of a stop maybe minus 0.7 I'll, I'll figure it out when I look in the viewfinder. Okay, actually negative one exposure comp looks about right. And let me just get down lower. Need to get a little closer. Okay, now over here I noticed a tree with uh, some white flowers on it. I'm a little bit too far away and they're kind of high up, but if I stand up on this mound here, I need to get closer. Uh, oh, you know what? Right up here, the light is coming through the petals pretty nicely. And I think from this distance, I can blur the background out enough that uh, it won't be too distracting. Yeah, right here. Ah, some uh, chopped up logs here. This has got some potential, but I'm too close. With the 75 millimeter, I'm gonna get like only one trunk in there. Maybe if I, let me back up this way. Something like this. I think right in here would be good. And then I'll just get like the top of the three trunks, I think. Let's see how this looks in the, in the viewfinder. All right, yeah, I think this will look pretty good. I'll do a uh, black and white and use a red filter to brighten up the logs and darken the greens in the background. And I'll uh, get these three logs together. Someone spotted a frog up in this tree here. So I'm gonna have to dial in some uh, positive exposure comp because he's inside in the shade. But, um, let me try and get a shot and then I'll... Actually, the frog is not uh, too skittish, so I'm gonna put my extension tubes on. See if I can get even a little closer. Uh, I got two of them here stacked, a 10 millimeter and a 16 millimeter. I can't separate them right now, so I'm just gonna put them both on.
Now, actually, what I saw when I was coming over here was not that tree frog, but uh, this, uh, these roots here with some flowers kind of growing inside of it. All right, so I, tr I tried a couple of different compositions. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is uh, put my 10 millimeter extension tube. I think that'll give me about the right distance that I need to sort of isolate one of the flowers. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try and get this ant real quick. Okay, I see a little flower over here that I think will look good too. Um, but I need to get closer, so I'm gonna add another extension tube back so I can get closer because it's framing a little bit too wide. Yeah, something like this. Right in here, okay. And I'm gonna dial in again a negative 1.7. Okay, coming up on a puddle over here on the left. And I can get some nice color. I like the reflections here. Sort of crisscrossing with these logs in the water, getting some diagonals. Let's see how this looks in the EVF. I like this uh, kind of oil slick or whatever this is. We got some blues and greens in here with some yellows. And if I can get this with the wind blowing on it, oh, I like this right here. I'm gonna dial in uh, F11. So I really want a deep depth of field on this. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do an auto exposure lock down here on the pond, then focus up in the trees and then come back down so that the tree should be relatively in focus. So AEL lock, focus up here. Almost walked right into these ducks here that are sleeping on the ground. Let's see if I can get a shot. Ducks here are normally very skittish. I just don't understand this behavior down here. I've never seen a ducks just lay there like that. <laughs> Maybe from this side. I'm gonna try from this side. All right, my time's up. I have to go out and meet my friend for lunch and hopefully I got one or two shots, you know, that are okay. But this place really never disappoints. I'm just coming at the worst time of day. But uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching and following me along. If you like these kind of videos, you know, hit the like button, maybe consider subscribing to the channel or support the channel, buy me a coffee. I really appreciate it. But either way, hopefully we'll see you again soon.